love you, and you got to give me a little breakdown. Some of the legends out on the court and some that are at the top of the game right now. Thanks for the introduction. By the way, the big name is you for sure. No. <laughs> and yes, so uh, we're going to enjoy the definition of the gold group. Las Vegas Mash, as you said, are into the semifinals, as well as the New York Atlantics, because even if the Arkansas have two wins in the head to head, which is the main criteria in order to determine no, no, in case no. of a tie, yeah. who moves on to the semifinals, or better than the Arkansas because they beat them in the previous day. So the New York Atlantics and the Las Vegas Mash are going to move into the semifinals. The Houston Volts have no wins as well as the Cancun Waves. So pretty clear for this group, but we're going to enjoy Alejandro Alonso and Martita Ortega. They've been putting on a show this week. So just to reiterate, the Arkansas Matrix sit at two and one. Even if they won this, they would be then three and one. However, they have the head-to-head -head loss to the New York Atlantics. So that's where there'd be a little bit of an issue. I think it would be interesting though, even if Las Vegas goes three and one, we'll have to kind of sit through some or sort through some of those in terms of who will be moving on in that case. But nonetheless, let's take a look now to our four competitors. The names are big. You've got Martita Ortega playing alongside Ale Alonso. Five minutes. And not to mention on the other side for Arkansas, you've got Patty Yonguno and Kata Tenorio. A lot of experience. And on the other court, we'll have Gonza Alfonso and Pablo Cardona, as usual, for the Las Vegas match. And Salo Rubio with Mario del Castillo. Salo Rubio played a lot of paddle during this week. I was talking to him today earlier. And uh, he told me, yes, we had one day to rest, but I think we needed a couple more. Um, we're okay to face this match. They know they have to win and then to, to see if they have a chance. Uh, but they have a tough mission, a tough team to beat. Martita Ortega and AA Alejandro Alonso. Again, they, they're playing in just another level. Alejandra Alonso with only 17 years old is showing to the world how good she is. But you never know with uh, Pati Yaguno and of course with Cato Tenorio. They played a lot of important matches for many, many years. And they want to believe why not to have a chance. Later on, Cam, uh, what's the menu for today? Because we have a lot of battle as well to be played. Today we will have four matchups. Las Vegas is with the Miami Paddle Club, the only teams to be three and O oh today, but the Miami will play in the last match of the day. Am I right? That is true. Miami will play uh, the Florida Goats to close out our day, but we've got four fantastic matchups for you, starting with this one, the Las Vegas Smash and the Arkansas Matrix, followed by the Cancun Waves and the Houston Volts, and then a big matchup for Los Angeles Beat and Toronto Polar Bears. As you now look to the women's matchup, Ale Alonso, just 17 years old. She has proven to be one of the top women in Miami so far through the first three days. She's been a danger. They've been pushed. It's not been a secret. Martita uh, Ortega and Ale Alonso, they've picked up win after win. However, a lot of those matches have been pretty close and they've had to fight and grovel to pick up some big time wins. But it's been so fun to watch just their mentality and their approach to the game. And right now, they're going to have to face off against two very solid opponents. And yesterday, Las Vegas Smash lost one match. And the main side, with Pablo Cardona and uh, Gonzalo Alfonso losing against El Loco Torre and Sanjo Gutierrez. But they won the last match, the mixed doubles. Martita Ortega and Gonzalo Alfonso. And that was the key to secure a spot in the semifinals. Why not thinking about a Miami Paddle Club and Las Vegas and Smash in the semifinals? That'd be something fun to watch, but first we have to enjoy this journey. Warm up is on the way. And if yesterday the San Diego and Toronto was all blue, like Cam said, today is all red here in the main court of this Pro Paddle League. $150,000 on the line in this first event of our four leading up to the PPL Cup final. Everyone want a, wanting a bit of that cash come in their direction. We get a chance to earn points along the way as 
The champion will receive 1,000 points at the first event. The runner-up, 850, and it continues to decrease as you go all the way to the 10th place, ending with 100 points. So as you go through the season, those points will accumulate. Whoever has the top eight point scores through the first four events will then move on to the PPL Cup final and ultimately everyone fighting for the a million dollar prize purse that is through the entirety of the 2024 season. I mean, that is a great prize purse in terms of this sport and its growth. I mean, it's gotta be so awesome for these athletes to have a chance to really have even greater opportunity as they continue to grow this sport around the world. Yes, if you look at that number and you compare it to tennis, yes, maybe it doesn't look that big for the sport, but for the sport, it's something unique. It's a game changer. The sport is growing a lot, especially here in the US. Of course, Miami, LA, and New York are the top three cities in terms of amount of courts, amount of players, culture, the fans that follow the sport. But the idea of the Pro Paddle League, it's to spread it across the US to be able have maybe why not a big player in the future now the top one team in the u.s is nico agritelli playing for the new york atlantics and luis estrada playing for the la beat players going to the benches and now in just a few minutes we will be kicking off the fourth day of competition here in miami where we will have back-to-back -back weeks for this regular season that will have four tournaments. And uh, as we said, the fifth event will be the finals to be played in New York City at the end of the year. 10 teams battling in the regular season, only the top eight in the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be played for the best two or three sets. Both first sets with tiebreak and golden point. Third set, we play as a match tiebreaker up to 10 points. Agasa won the toss and they chose to receive. Everything more than ready to start this fourth journey in this Pro Paddle League. Another sunny day. Today is not windy as the previous one. So I think we will have better paddle in terms of attacking. Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso unbeaten so far during the week. Three out of three matches won by them. And uh, on the other side, the Arkansas Matrix with a 2-1 record as a team in the Pro Paddle League. Time. Las Vegas Mash. Stepping into the court as well as the Arkansas Matrix. Marta Ortega, Alejandra Alonso, Cata Tenorio, and Patti Yaguno with all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining from home, enjoying as well this magnificent event. The Ultra Paddle Club. 
hosting uh, the first of five events. Marta Ortega will kick off uh, this matchup between uh, the Matrix and the Smash. Alonso goes down the line, goes back now. Big hit. And the first point from Ali Alonso saying, I'm here. 15 love. She has so much power. Beautiful technique. It was a flat smash. Beautiful angle there by Pati Yaguno to the fence to get the first point on the board. 15 all. Another one from Ale Alonso this time. An 30, amazing Portres down the line. Probably one of the hardest shots in paddle. Let first serve. First serve for Marta Ortega. 30-15. Two winners out of Ale Alonso's racket. spinning around to play the flop shot. Oh, class. Making it awkward for Cata Tenorio to defend. 15. Marta Ortega to the corner using that soft bandeja. Going for that pick, that union between the fence and the glass. 40-15 for the smash. Last fighter from Ali Alonso, the first mistake of the match for her. 40-30. Alonso to her corner. Patti goes to the right side, but comes back immediately to be ready for the smash from Ali Alonso. The point stays alive. Marta Ortega covering the middle. The ruler to the fence from Ali Alonso, pure class. Couple smashes down the line and a perfect ruler to finish the job and to make the first game of uh, the match go to the Las Vegas side. Gotta love this angle from Ale Alonso. So good as she's backing up, the angle becomes that much sharper. Not a whole lot of room to work, but nonetheless, she's coming away with a really beautiful ball. Short, what a break for the smash. And of course, for the Orkans are Matrix. In Cam, uh, you never know what's gonna happen in a paddle guard board. Coming into this one, I think the favorites are the smash. Martita Ortega and Ali Alonso, two top players. Marta Ortega in the top 10 in the world. And a rising star like uh, Alejandra Alonso. Sending this high up into the air. Finds herself all the way at the net. Nice block. Trying to find the bandeja on the side of the Arkansas Matrix. Kata Tenorio with the air. So um, when it comes to the tiebreaker in case of a triple tie, we will go to the head to head. Then we will see that the Las Vegas Smash lost against, uh, in this case, the Arkansas Matrix. If this happens, the, the Arkansas Matrix lost against the Atlantics and the Atlantics lost against the
the um, Las, Las Vegas, Vegas match. Special. So it will come to the amount of matches won, and in that stat, we have the Las Vegas match with seven matches won, as well as the Atlantics, but if only one game, one game goes to the Smash, they will be with eight wins. So they will be over the Atlantics in case the, the Arkansas the Arkansas Matrix wins two matches. They will be 7-5 as well as the New York Atlantics, but then it will go again into the head-to-head. -head. So it will be the New York Atlantics moving into the semifinal. So if I'm not wrong, to secure a place in the semifinals, the Las Vegas Smash need one win oh yeah. to have eight of them, eight points, and be the top tier in that gold group here in the Pro Paddle League. We'll keep track of all the ins and outs of each of these groups, see who will finally come out of the gold and white, find themselves in action tomorrow for the semifinals. on that drive side. Beautiful ball. One thing, uh, sorry Cam, but one thing's for sure in the gold group is that the Cancun Waves and the Houston Volts are out. No wins so far. So the runner-ups in 2023, the Waves are out in the group stage in the first event. Sends up the lob. Cuts off. Well done. Turning over her off shoulder, Ale Alonso. Extended rally now. Patio Muno. Ouch. Oh, taking one to the shoulder. Game Kata Tenorio. Game to the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Smash, a 2-0 start. That hurts. You don't want to be in front of Ale Alonso right there with a short lob shot. So impressive. Throughout the week, Ale Alonso now serving for the Smash. Goes over the net from Pati Aguno using the contra pared, but doesn't make it over. 15 love. Let's it go between the legs to pick it up. Pati Aguno with style, with class. 15 all. Good move right there by Patty. The Chiquita from Alonso to push to go to the net. To retake the attacking position. And the glass fi finder from Marta Ortega, 15 30. 15 30. The quality of the lob shots from Pati Yaguna and Cata Tenori in that point was really good. One of the big welcome sights today decreased wind past three days. We've seen that elevated, created some issues on the lob. A greater challenge for that matter. Another one from Marta Ortega. She cannot believe it. She was trying to push, cutting the ball, cutting the time for the opponents to be in the net. And it's 15-40, three break points for the Arkansas. Not the first one 
30-40, Cata Tenorio lifts it short into the net. Alonso now fakes the smash. Cata Tenorio and Pati Aguno don't buy it. The ball stays in. Yaguno down the line. That one also stays in. Perfect flop from Cata Tenorio. Yeah. That was long from Pati Yaguno. It's Deuce. Second golden point in a row. Still a break chance for the Orkanes uh, Matrix. Tenorio has chose to receive. Anybody, anybody. That goes out okay. of the court from yeah. Ali Alonso. That's another hole yeah, for the smash. Three games yeah. to love in the beginning yeah. of the set. Yeah. A 3 0 start for the Las Vegas Smash. Still looking to remain unbeaten as a team. Their 3 0 record. Oh, great court coverage. Ale Alonso. Ball sent up. Oh, just a hair early up, finding the top of her racket instead. She was showing a lot of physicality in that point and then a lot of speed running from the baseline to the net. And just some uh, huge step. Really impressive. Again. Really nice dig. Young Guno. Too much pressure from the Las Vegas smash. It's going fast. The problem, Cam, is that, yes, at the beginning of the week, they were a new team. They were just getting to know each other. But now they have a couple matches on their shoulders as a team. So they're only going to get better. You make a great point. Plenty of matches have been played to this point. And with the second event coming just next week, you can imagine just how much better all of these teams in terms of duos are gonna feel playing alongside one another. Level's only gonna to continue to increase. 40, 15. Arkansas Matrix, looking steady now.
get that off the wall. Luna, I like the shot down the line. Oh, great block. Finding just a bit of shade in the corner, Ale Alonso. Extended rallies continue here. Ortega starting to take over the middle of the court. What did he cup? Another great ball oh, sent back. Uh, the Arkansas Matrix, a phenomenal Yay. play as they fend off the pressure from the, the Las Vegas Smash and take their first game. That was pure Patti Yaguna right there, picking up one from the underground, giving the team an extra chance. And after that, the mistake from Alejandra Alonso, the importance of a good defense right there. Just on the line, that serve from Marta Ortega. Good serve, and then even better finish for Cuatro. Picking off for the smash, trying to extend the lead again. Make it 4 1. That's wide from Ale Alonso, wide from AA, 15 0. from Marta Ortega, but a good block from Cata Tenorio. Bajada de pared, down the middle from Ale Alonso. Another great defense from Patti Yaguno. He hit it, she hit it with the higher part of the racket. That why, that's why the ball flew into the glass. 30-15 now. Paddle racket, it's way shorter than the tennis racket, but bigger than the pickleball racket. Just in between. Definitely thicker. Again, Ale Alonso hurting down the line the opponents to make it 40 love. Quick game for the smash. Marta Ortega using sunglasses today. To get some protection as well as Patti Yaguno. This time, finding a cool bounce for her off the fence. A friendly bounce, 40-15. 40-30. Good ball from Cata Tenorio, so clever. She saw that Alonso and Marta Ortega were running to the net. And she placed it perfectly down the line. No bounce off the wall. Flat smash again down the line from Alonso. But this time Cata Tenorio was ready. Skillful move from uh, Patti Yaguno between the legs, but now Alonso finishes. No, she doesn't. What a run from Patti Yaguno. She's saving absolutely everything right now. Tenorio goes to the left side, but comes back immediately to the right side of the court. Long point. A really long point. Kata again, the contra pared. Hand the block from Kata Tenorio. I'm tired just by watching this point. This is unbelievable. There she goes. It's short, and Patti yeah. sends it over the court with a beautiful yeah. por cuatro. 
Ooh. Ooh. That was long That's and exhausting. And they take the break. Three to two. The Orkansa Matrix are back in the game. A wild point to earn the break for the Arkansas Matrix, the longest rally that we may have seen for the entire tournament just taking place. Luckily, that sent them into a small, short break on the side of the court. It got them a bit of hydration. Everyone needed it after that. Arkansas Matrix down to three. Good communication from Nguno and Tenorio. And just missing on that backhand volley. Man, communication is so critical in this game. It's constant. In terms of locating shot selection, knowing where the defense is on the other side. Drop. They've got themselves in a great position. Ale Alonso had to chase after that. Couldn't quite get back, cover her side. And this is where the rest day for the Arkansas Matrix matters. You're facing two really physical players like Marta Ortega and Ale Alonso. You're going to have to battle for a long time with long points. You need fresh legs. So far, they're unafraid to extend some of those rallies and test those legs. 15.30. To the Matrix credit, the lob has been looking very clean after the first parts of this set. She was not happy about that one. There's that fantastic lob. Oh, oh, fantastic Bajada, Ale Alonso. You can see there how she slices it. And after the bounce off the wall goes straight down. Perfect Bajada de Pared. Chance for a break. For a second time now, two break points. find themselves now at mm. deuce. deuce. Again, the Matrix continuing to fight here, even on their serve. That slow pace is working a lot for the Orkansa Matrix. Whenever they're able to put that kind of pace to the point, it goes well. When it goes to a fast dynamic and fast point, not ideal for them. Golden point, Matrix controlling the tempo of play.
decides to go with the lob instead. Matrix on top of it. Tega sends it back to the corner. Now flattens. Pressuring through the middle. Oh, ball out of bounds. And the break to the Las Vegas smash. Las Vegas needs four games to two. They retake the advantage they had at the beginning with that 3-0 up. Then a small comeback from the Orkansa Matrix. But now again, the top team so far on the women's side taking a lead. Martita Ortega will be serving in this seventh game of the match. Mati spinning around. Last finder from <laughs> Cata Tenorio. The previous days, Cam, the wind was pushing behind the back from uh, that side, from Las Vegas Smash side. So but it's it was today. Exactly, it's going the opposite direction today. When curling at the back of the Arkansas Matrix. Marta Ortega was trying to place at that beautiful angle, but stayed short. The idea was good, though. It's 15 all. It's a block from Patti. Stays in. Patti fake for tres. Alonso gets it. He goes back now. Contra pared. Another beautiful angle from Patti Yaguno. And we get into another long point. Next time, Tenorio finding an awkward ball. The ball was going towards her. She was not able to move at the correct time. Look. And she lifted short into the net. That's one of the toughest situations. The ball actually just at your body and at your feet. Almost requires just as much footwork as if you're chasing one down. Ale Alonso. She doesn't make it over the net. It's 30 all. The smash trying to push the leaders, this gold group. Good ball again from Ali Alonso. The amount of winners she has, it's insane. 40 30. Chance for a hold. Chance to extending the lead. And they do, they close the deal just now. Five games to do for Las Vegas Smash. Ortega and Alonso only one game away from securing the first set. esos errores de, de volea que no tocan, tengo que bloquear. Pasa de ese lado con el punto del viento la pelota se me viene antes, a lo que yo calculo, o porque viene rápido.
Las Vegas Smash finding some of their game here in this set one. Up now 5-2. And on the return. Short. And the ball is into the stands. Cameraman sitting back there. Great job in terms of his avoidance. Hoping he's listening to us right now. He's got an umbrella. <laughs> to be protected up in those stands. Really explosive footwork there from Ortega. It's so hard because oftentimes you're chasing the ball back to the mid-court area, you actually want this to end up back behind your head to be able to create that spin like Ale Alonso. But at the same time, just a hair too far. Yes, and Alonso knew that uh, Pati Yaguno was waiting close to the net, so she tried to go to Pati's foot, but she missed. changing the pace wow. instead of dropping that elbow. Well done, Ali Alonso. Not just the pace differential, but also the location. Sending that back down the line. Check this out. Well changing done. Changing the direction at the very last moment. Let's see what she does now. High ball. Oh. Fantastic transition for Vegas. Alonso goes with the Rulo. Got a gracious bounce though. Play continues. Ball up. Again. It in for another long one. There's that same shot she found the winner on previously. Change direction, cross court. Oh, and tried to go back through the legs in Pati Yunguno. When it comes to backhand players, sometimes they have the kick smash, but not the best bandeja, or they have a good bandeja and a, big, a good vibora, but not the smash. When it comes to Ale Alonso, she has everything. She goes cross court with a flat shot, with a vibora. Sometimes she goes down the line, when it has, she has to hit it hard, she does. A very complete player in the aerial game. I think she's also one of the quickest and has some of the most strong steps in terms of closing the gap between the backcourt and getting herself up to the net. Typically only taking her about two steps to close down. We don't have a couple set points right here. One fought off. Juice. Marta saying, salta, salta, salta mucho. Jump, please, Ale, jump. Miss Ortega has chose to receive. Another set point. Alonso into the cross court. Out. And another fought off. The Arkansas, Arkansas. Macon, the Arkansas Matrix come away with the game. Saving two set points. Five games to three. Spa escaping First away set. from Marta Ortega and Ale Alonso, which is not easy to do. Still 5-3 up for the Las Vegas Smash. They will have another chance to close the set, but this time while serving, which of course will make things easier. Love 15. Love 15 now. There she goes again. I just love this shot down the line. 
15 all. She fakes going cross court and then changes the direction at the very end, placing the ball into the corner with no bounce. It couldn't be better. 30, and now 15. a good serve to make it 30 15. It's Ale Alonso all over. For Chiquita now from Marta Ortega, Alonso towards Tenorio's foot. Wide from Patti Yaguno, sends it to the fence. 40 15, Las Vegas match with another three set points. To be a step closer. They want to be in the semifinals tomorrow, the 2023 champions, and that's the way you do it. Perfect ball from Ale Alonso towards Patti Yaguno. She's not able to block it. First set for Las Vegas Smash by six. Games to three. Tenorio to serve. Fault. Las Vegas smash taken set number one. Six three. I'll say though, pressed by what the markets on Matrix did in terms of controlling tempo, playing to their strengths. 15 long. It's going to be a tough task to have to do, though, here in the second set, as it requires that much more physical output.
Fifteen. Out. Nice avoidance Sorry, from Ali Alonso. Thirty off. Quick hands up the net now. Oh. What a save, and <laughs> Kata Tenorio stays at the net. Try to find a miracle. Walks to the service line with a smile. It was self-preservation mode for Kata Tenorio. And a break, an early one for the Las Vegas Smash. That's how they started. Game, Las Vegas. First game. Second early break for the Las Vegas Smash. Early morning hours are now finding themselves in a great position as they still remain unbeaten 3-0 through the first three days. We'll have the men's match also taking place out on our grandstand court. Gonzalo Alfonso, Pablo Cardona for the Las Vegas Smash and for the Arkansas Matrix. Gonzalo Rubio, Mario del Castillo. Two Gonzalos right there. <laughs> Alfonso, Gonzalo Rubio, and one here. <laughs> That's correct, we got a few. Must be a good name. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it is this. So now, uh, the Arkansas are serving at the contra pared. Marta goes with power for tres and the smile, smile and fist pump combination for Marta Ortega, the doctor. Look at that, using the contra pared spin to get more power and to send it out of the court. Another power smash. This time, Cata Denorio got it. And the class soft hands from Marta Ortega to put the ball to sleep into that corner. Love 30. There she goes. No bounce off the wall. Another good serve. Ah, oh, beautiful from. Pati Yaguno running to the net, touching the ball. 
and letting the ball go out of the court. 15-30 now. And the Orkans are trying to get the break back. Alonso fake smash. Good read from Pati Yaguno. Just short for Mali Alonso. And again, the Orkans have three break points. No, it was in my confusion. It's 30 all. Tenorio was ready for that shot down the line from Ali Alonso. Fati close to the net, down the line, squeezing the ball into Marta Ortega's corner. 30, 40. And now, yes, they do have a break point, a couple of them. The smash from uh, Ali Alonso did not go out of a court, allowing Patti Yaguno to find the winner. Angle from Patti. That was pretty. That was a beautiful move Game. to get the break. To make things even again. One game apiece. Yaguno to the fence, finding a friend right there. Pati Yaguno taking an extra second here. Ortega changing direction. Patti opens up the racket. Kata waits in the back line. Whoa. Another big hit. Portres this time from Alejandra Alonso. Hashtag AA. The ball goes for tres and the point goes for the smash with a smash. <laughs> From one smash to another. Strong serve, Patty and Leo. Finding the error on the return. 30-15. Once more, they finally get this ball to drop against Ale Alonso. Again, controlling the tempo, allowing themselves to stay up at the net. Smash still trying to find this over the top. Last foot of the court for the Arkansas Matrix. A doozy of a lob. And a good one at that. It's super tricky when you use the contra pared. The ball goes to the other side and the spin makes it stay close to the exactly. wall. Exactly. You don't really have the space to put the racket between the ball and the wall. Game, Arkansas. And a game for Arkansas. Now leading 2 Arkansas 1 here in the second set. Thank you. 
Spotify. Please allow us to serve. Back to the main court. Ale Alonso to serve. Two, one, up for the Orkins uh, Matrix. La 15, too much power from Ali Alonso. Martita lets it go and that, a good call, a right call to do. The ball flies forever and time now to go to the other court because the men's match is happening right now. Pablo Cardona. And Gonzalo Alfonso won the first set by six games to four, and now they are two one up against uh, Mario del Castillo and Salo Rubio. 30 40 break point for Arkansas. 15 30. We make it 2 2. Alfonso to serve. Interesting duo this one, Alfonso and Cardona. Combination between power and magic. The Portes from Gonzalo Alfonso. There he goes with a lot of spin. The ball touches the back wall and jumps off the wall. I agree. I think it's an interesting matchup, especially considering both of Cardona and Alfonso both seem to be power, right? They're both able to score points, create opportunities offensively. And that righty lefty combination. But this is a great example. Both can really kind of dictate the terms of a point rather than the traditional, more so traditional setup for, for one. Alfonso in his corner, now goes with a lob shot. Mario, friendly bounce off the fence for Mario del Castillo. They get the break and they even things up in the second set by two games to two. Or Kansas Matrix in this game are wearing a white shirt, but in the main court it's all about red. Gonzalo Alfonso really close to this beautiful camera we have set up, set up in that corner, letting us enjoy paddle from different angles. Gonzalo is going to let it bounce. Point. And he's going to leave it short. 15 love for Arkansas. Trying to find that short angle that's so tough from the back of the court. Clean backhand player. And the side glass. Fifteen all. Getting that first set going the direction of Las Vegas. Nice flip from Alfonso. Game. Arcanza. Arcanza needs three games to one. Castillo. Finding three different locations now. Middle, line, and cross court.
There is the athleticism. Rubio. Wow. Castillo on the full chase. I believe one of those may be out of bounds. El Castillo going to the other side of the court, to the right side. But the point goes for the Las Vegas Smash. Out. 12-15. We could see how the ball was in the air and then started moving to the right side. Signing the ball to the side wall from uh, Gonzalo Alfonso. 15 all. It was a fun shot. He will turn right there in the corner. It's the one pushed wide. The enthusiasm, though, from those two. Great fighting camaraderie on the side of the Arkansas Matrix. Oh. Cardona just chopping that ball down. It was a perfect forehand down the line. We have a golden point right here. 50 30. Ah! Golden point belongs to the Arkansas Matrix. They go up three to two. Beautiful angle there created by Mario del Castillo, forcing Gonzalo Alfonso to play a bad lob shot and then the finish from Salo Rubio. Teamwork and camp. This is non stop competition. We come back again to the main court where we have Ale Alonso and Marta Ortega facing Cata Tenorio and Patti Yaguno. Yorkians are up by three games to one, but facing three break points. And they get the break, the Las Vegas smash. Three games to two, no breaks, uh, but the Orkanes are Matrix leading by three games to two in the second set. Wind starting to gust in here to our fantastic location at the Ultra Paddle Club, home to event one and event two for the PPL 2024 season. Las Vegas Smash, one of the top, proving to be one of the top teams in 2024, at least in event one to this point. Started off the season 3-0 in this round robin Pichino. format, now looking for their fourth win to head to the semifinals. Again, Alonso showing all her power. Oh. 
Whoa. 15 all. That's a backhand down the line from Pati Yaguno. That was pretty. 15 all. Eight tricks with the three-two lead and set two. No way to get a racket on that one. 30, 15. Again, proving the strength of Ale Alonso. And finding the right spot in that back wall for the ball to bounce in order to come back, but to do it with a lot of height. Again. Back-to-back -back smash for Ale Alonso. 40, 15. The ball bounces super high in that back wall, and that creates a lot, a lot of power. After the break, now looking for the hold. And they do make it three all. Three and all. Second set. After being a three one down, now the Las Vegas smash came back. Padilla Guna playing a good match, especially in the second set. Alonso, that half volley. Ouch, again, a new tattoo for Marta Ortega. 15 low. So she doesn't forget about Miami. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes when you go on holidays, you get a magnet or something. <laughs> well, Martita Ortega is getting a free tattoo. Signed by Pati Yaguno, of course. Different kind of souvenir. Of course. <laughs> I don't want one, the, one of those. Ooh, that's going to land close to the <laughs> player zone area. Miss hit from her, from AA, from Ale Alonso. Are you not walking away with a tattoo? I mean, we're here for, you know, 15 days. There's plenty of time for you to find one. Fonza. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, and we're close <laughs> to the to the court, so. Get you a nice little palm tree on your bicep. Danger area. <laughs> <laughs> PPL <Here>. tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> we have time to get one because we have a lot of paddle <laughs> ahead of us. One of the semifinals. By the way, I'm super excited about the semifinals. Get a chance to see the top, top. four teams in yeah. action. Yeah. Still so much to be determined. How oh, she opens up the racket. Hitting the ball sideways. <laughs> now Patty was close to the net. Soft touch to put the ball to sleep right there. That's a way to finish a game from Pati Yaguno and the Arkansas Matrix. They are leading by four games to three in this second set.
second set shaping up to be that much closer. Two breaks on both sides. 4-3, the advantage for the Matrix. Again, great control, management, and tempo. They are fighting hard right here. Kata Tenorio and Pati Yaguno. Did you expect anything less from these two? Not at all. But after coming from a set down, it's impressive. You expect some confidence and uh, an even better level from Marta Ortega and Ari Alonso, and they are here, Tenorio and Yaguno. for Patty Anguno. Loads. Fighting, Yanguno. Oh. Finds the glass first. <laughs> the amount of times these athletes have to find a contact on the full extension, so challenging. More often than not, still finding the ball. The main reason behind uh, this comeback from the Arkansas is the pace of the ball. We said in the first set, whenever the pace goes down, it's way better for them. Tenorio getting changed up. 30, 15. Caught with her feet the opposite direction, tries to open that stance back and around. Well done by Alonso, she's always faking to go cross court and then finding a sweet spot down the line. To your point there. Nice ball down the line. Forcing Alonso to have to play up against the glass. You can see how when a player is out of position, like Ali Alonso right there, in the middle court, they're just going for it, going one after another. Catching her before she can find her court position again. Trying to continue to make that athlete uncomfortable. This pace is ideal for the Matrix. Don't control. Forty. That was about an inch away from Catatenorio's racket. They were doing a good job, but that last lob shot was short. But again, that rhythm, that pace, it's better for the Matrix. Now time for a golden Total point. point. Big moment here in set two. To Finding a couple mistakes of Ale Alonso today. Will it be a break for the Arkansas Matrix? If they do it, they will be having the chance to close the set with their serve. Oh. Ale Alonso oh. closing off that dream. Four games all. Las Vegas Second smash, seven. even the score for all. And now let's see how uh, it goes mentally for the Arkansas Matrix. As they lost the chance to be 5-3 up and serving for the second set. Mentally sometimes you stay in the past, still thinking about that point. But the right thing to do now is to go into the next one, to focus because you need to win this game. Kata Tenorio is serving and leaving it short into the net with that back and volley. Law 15. Law 15. 
Now it's going to be Las Vegas Nash pushing a lot harder. Alonso using a Chiquita to go to the net, but now she has to go back, access the night. Good reach from Marta Ortega, but after that, Pati Yaguna was so clever to squeeze the ball right there, close to the baseline. Marta was out of position, and there was nothing she could do with that one. 15 all. Another mistake, another backhand volley to the net from Cata Tenorio. And this is starting to get really, really dangerous for the Arkansas Matrix. Set down, and now for all, they cannot afford to lose this game. Changing the pace of the ball right there, Pati Yaguno trying something different. Alonso was comfortable in the corner, defending those bandejas. So Pati tried something new, something special. 30 all. Oh, couple breaks from Cata Tenorio. The lucky break from Marta Ortega finds 30 40. There the net, but the ball rolls over it. 30 40. And now Las Vegas Mash, after saving a break point in the previous game, have two of their own. Alonso finishes the job as usual. AA is the business. They take the break and now the Snash are 5-4 up. After this break, they will have the chance with the serve to close the, the set and win the match for the franchise. Multiple breaks now here in set two. Most recently, the Las Vegas smash now up 5 4. Chance to close the match. No, not a fantastic start. Ale Alonso. She finds that line shot. She is dangerous. And also, the ball bounced on the top of the fence, making it absolutely impossible to recover. Oh. Oh. 
It's a bit of an unforced error there from Ale Alonso. Slicing that into the fence. Pushed back. Quickly recovered. And Yanguno throws her hand to her 30, mouth in 15. disbelief. 30-15. Very important when you go to the corners to make sure the ball bounces in two walls. Even if you don't win the, win the point straight up, it makes it super awkward for the opponent. Three straight, make it four now. Marta Ortega is still sitting and waiting. But it's all Ale Alonso. How good she is. A match point now for the Las Vegas smash. Behind the powerful play of the 17-year-old. Defense, attacking, Chiquitas, Andejas. She has absolutely everything. Match point. Game. Match to the Las Vegas, Las Vegas smash. Ale Alonso and Martita Ortega. 6-3 and 6-4. As expected. Alejandra Alonso and Marta Ortega unbeaten so far. Four out of four for this team. The duo is working perfectly. Joining... Uh, the Las Vegas Smash, Marta Ortega this season, the 2023 champion, meant to be the big name, the big captain of the team, and showing up in a big way. And now the celebrations, of course, Las Vegas Smash will be most likely into the semifinals. A hard team to beat. They have a strong team in the women's side with Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso. And they also have a good pair with Pablo Cardona and Gonza Alfonso. When it comes to the mixed doubles, Marta Ortega and Gonzalo Alfonso are playing together in a super high level. Yes. Definitely the 2023 champions this season are a tough team to beat. What's impressive too, when you look at their four wins as a women's duo for the Las Vegas Smashes, they were pushed to a super tie break twice in two twice in those four matches, still taking both of the super tie breaks. One of those was a first, the New York Atlantics, and the second was against the Houston Volts. So even impressive play when their back was against the wall, they still came up in some big clutch moments. And right now, they're gonna get a chance to talk with our friend, Javi Carrasco. Hello again. Here we go with the winners of the match. Well done, girls. Martita Ortega, Alejandra Alonso for the winner against Kata Tenorio and Patti Jaguno Cielinski. Well, first, Alejandra, you prefer in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, and how important is the victory for the team? Yeah, well, I prefer in the afternoon because <laughs> now we are maybe a little bit sleepy. No, I don't know, but yeah, very happy. Uh, we are having a uh, a good time with Marta, with all the team, so no, very happy. Thank you so much, Alejandra. What a week, Martita, for the team. Uh, you are the last champions, Las Vegas, so you dream with repeat this year? <laughs> uh, yes, of course, uh, it's our dream, it's our aim, is what we are looking for. I think we are, we are making the way, we are doing it in the, in the right way, and I wanna take this opportunity to congratulate the girls because they've been playing for, for a long time. They've still been really, really nice people, but uh, really, well, perfect players. And I think we saw it today on the court. So congratulate Patty and, and Kata. It's a, it's a pleasure for us to have them here and to, to have the opportunity to play against them because we always learn something. And Good. well, so happy for the team. Uh, I think the guys are playing already, so we, we have to go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Martita Ortega, Alejandra Alonso. Congratulations, girls. See you in the next, the next, the next match, the second of the match. See you. So Martita Ortega and of course her partner Ali Alonso giving props to their opponents, and rightly so, two of the legends of the game, Patti Yonguno, and of course, Kata Tenorio. But ultimately, these two just taking the win for the women's matchup in two sets played. But there is a men's matchup also taking place now, as these are 
heading off simultaneously and a strong, strong start on the side of the Las Vegas smash as Gonzo Alfonso and his partner, of course, Pablo Cardona, picked up set number one, 6-4. However, in the second set, it is now 6-5, the opposite direction. Mario Del, Del Castillo and Gonzalo Rubio have the lead in the second set. So they're coming back out, looking to force this to a super tie break. Far side of your screen, Rubio and Castillo. Near side, Cardona and Alfonso. Castillo. Watching for the management of his own lob. Frustration, though. 15 love, the start for the smash. Gonzalo Alfonso is super good at hiding his intentions until the end. Showing one shot with his racket, but executing another one. Deception on display from Alfonso. Castillo forced back to the corner. Dropping this the middle. Alfonso has the angle cut off by Castillo. The pressure added from the Matrix. Good patience from Salo Rubio. Just touching the ball, waiting for the moment to make the real push to go for the point. Beautifully done, Rubio finding that forehand side of Cardona. 